engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to Excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate regenerative braking for permanent magnet synchronous machines. If you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team or donate to our channel so that we can continue making videos like this and interacting with our people and as well improving our quality. The difference between the, uh, this video and the previous video is in the previous video we use a brushless DC machine and in the previous video is more detailed and as a reference based on the high triple E paper that I, I use as a reference. You can as well check there and to, to understand more. Now let me change it to PMP. Now let me introduce each component. And this can be applied in a hybrid or plug-in hybrid electrical vehicle or any electrical vehicle where there is a regenerative braking. Now let's check our battery. Capacitor and our universal bridge there's a capacitor and our universal bridge those are the parameters and here we have our three phase fold <coughs> and you have our permanent magnet synchronous machines the difference between the permanent synchronous machines and the brushless DC machine is the, EM, EM, the EF, EMF waveform in the permanent magnet machine, the EMF is sinusoidal and in the brushless is trapezoidal. You can read the review, get your review to the better. And this is our torque, which inversely proportional to the speed. As higher is the torque, the lower is the speed of the machine. Here with our reference speed. And now let's check our controller. In our controller, we have our current controller and the speed controller. The speed controller input is the speed and the reference speed, which the speed is based is from the machine, and the reference is, is this given as a reference, controlled by PI controller. The difference between the speed and the reference speed goes to PI controller, and PI controller goes to the gate or to the, to the current controller now. Now we have our decoder. Those are the, the parameters. You have our logical operator and you have our, another logical operator of not. It goes to the, it times with the, the reference speed or the speed. And then you have our input currents from the machine, ABC, the amateur, uh, the state account, it goes to the current controller, the current controller. Then there's difference between the, the three currents with the, 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 
Then I find something that comes from uh, speed controller. Have a relay data type to convert it, conversion, and you have a logical operator. It goes to the gate. And from the gate goes to our universal inverter, our variable source inverter. Then you have our measurements, you have our speeds, torque speed, torque, and our state of charge from the area of our state of current. And you have your our Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video and as well, don't forget, please can as well donate to us or join our membership team so that we can continue making videos like this and improve our quality. Let's run and check the behavior of our system. Now let's check our results. Here we have our torque, actual speed, electromagnetic torque, and the state of charge. Then it is charge. Let's check the battery parameters. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this.